okay, I'm just out here like on my daily walk because that's apparently like the only thing we're allowed to do anymore these days. And people ask me like, John, how are you doing? Like, John, are you surviving the quarantine? And I'm like, it's a little disrespectful because I was homeschooled. How am I surviving quarantine? Um, the same way I survived my entire childhood. John, you're not gonna be able to see any of your friends and the only people you can spend time with is your family. Oh, that sounds very familiar. Listen, it's very important to stay inside. Maybe once a day you can go for a walk or a bike ride. Oh, you mean like my entire life from age seven to 14? Listen, John, no one's gonna be able to go to work and you have to use your imagination to come up with things to do all day. My mom told me and my little brother Joe that when I was in sixth grade, we had a bike ramp and a tree house built by noon. John, we don't know how to greet people anymore. Do we shake hands? Do we fist pump? Do we hug? What do we do? It's uncomfortable. Yeah, welcome to my entire life and every social interaction I've ever had as a homeschooler. I've never known how to greet people. I'm just saying, don't ask any homeschooler if they're hanging in there okay during the quarantine. It's a little disrespectful to the coping mechanisms we all learned as kids. Restart the economy. Has anyone asked the homeschoolers? I had a thriving lemonade stand when I was six. John, listen, just pretend that everyone has a really dangerous disease and you could contract it if you get close to them. Oh, Oh, like how I believed the girls had cooties until I was 14? Done. Shelter in place is gonna be extended for another two weeks. Fine. Tell any homeschool kid that they'd be like, dude, two weeks? That's six Nancy Drew books and a season of Adventures and Odyssey. John, this is a very harsh reality we're living in. Dude, I'm not even here. I'm homeschooled. I'm in the imagination station with Connie Kendall. But John, all my favorite restaurants are closed. Restaurants? Dude, I was homeschooled. We don't eat out. I was one of eight kids. We went to Taco Bell once. The bill was $127. How you doing? You know where we ate? At home. My mom just made food appear from nothing. She was a wizard. Not that we support wizards, though. We weren't allowed to watch Harry Potter. Dude, literally give my mother a bag of rice, some chicken broth, and two cans of tomato soup. She will make you the entire Cheesecake Factory menu. Everyone's all stressed out like, John, I just don't know if I can trust the government. Yeah, that's literally why my parents decided to homeschool. We ain't trusted the government since day one. Listen, I get it. It's cool to make fun of homeschoolers. I've done it too, but look around. Homeschoolers are crushing it. Have you been to a Chick-fil-A drive through recently? Recently, these things are run by homeschoolers. They got three wide in the drive-thru, dealing boxes of nuggets like it's a scene from Breaking Bad. They got homeschool Heisenberg in the kitchen dropping fries while Jesse Pinkman sending everybody off with a box of chicken and a my pleasure knowing that they're gonna be back in the morning for more. Uh, <laughs> John, what about social distancing? Dude, I got a Rubik's Cube for my 10th birthday. I social distanced in the basement for four months trying to figure that thing out. We're trying to find a vaccine. Okay, has anyone asked the homeschool moms about this? My Aunt Margaret had an essential oil combination that cured this back in April. I don't even wanna hear about a mask shortage. Dude, as a homeschooler, that would have been our arts and crafts project on day one. You know who was homeschooled? George Washington, Ben Franklin, Albert Einstein. You know who wasn't homeschooled? Fauci. John, this is a great opportunity to really get to know your neighbors. Oh, you mean the only people that I was allowed to socialize with growing up? Four months into quarantine, John, are you doing okay? Oh, you mean the first 14 years of my life? Yeah, I'm good. John, listen, are you surviving the coronavirus pandemic of 2020? Uh, I survived the homeschool pandemic of the 90s. I'll be just fine.